What's going on guys, Master Turkey here. Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to do something a little bit different. Normally I know this is like a software based channel and I've tried to get more and more out into the open, do some videos, you know, going outside. <laughs> and as America starts to reopen and open the economy back up, I think it's important to support local businesses and since this is a video game channel and I'm a avid video game collector of certain things, I think it's important to support those local businesses, not just GameStop. I support GameStop as much as the next guy, but there still are some mom and pop stores that need to get some love and here in San Antonio and I guess they have some stores elsewhere in other states but it's game over video games right now they're doing a buy two get one free under $20 and so we are going to go check that out and see if we can find some hidden gems under 20 bucks I'm kind I kind of have my eyes on golden axe for the Sega Master System so hopefully they have a copy of that I know that's sitting around $20 right now so we'll see so without further ado, let's head out and head on over to Game Over Video Games here in San Antonio. Now Game Over Video Games is an independent chain of retro focused video game stores. Uh, they actually opened up their first store in Austin, Texas. I'm going to go ahead and read their mission statement. They want to create an oasis in the video game retail world where classic and vintage games would not only exist, but they would be here to be cleaned, merchandised, presented, and sold in a way that no other video game store has done. Old video games are not just a forgotten little shelf in the back of their stores, they fill their entire stores. So they've got everything from Atari to Xbox, they've got Sega Master System, Genesis, Sega CD, Saturn. They also have import games. I checked out import games from PlayStation, PlayStation 2, Saturn, Mega CD, Vita, PSP. They even have PlayStation 3 imports. Now, sadly, the sale that they've been having, the buy two, get one free, has been going on for about a week now, so everything seemed pretty much picked over. To be honest, it was really tough finding something within my budget and then also decent enough to want to buy, I guess. It is worth mentioning that any of their disc-based games that don't have a box or a case are actually 50% off, which actually works out to your benefit if you're going there for Sega CD or Saturn games, as most of the Sega CD and Saturn games pretty much have destroyed cases or no cases whatsoever. They had a decent PS2, Xbox, and Xbox 360 selection, but they didn't really have too much Sega Master System, Genesis, or Nintendo 64, and really that's what I was there for. I wanted to see if I could beef up my N64, add some Sega Master System titles, possibly some Genesis titles. However, unfortunately there just wasn't quite a bit there. It's more than possible that the sale that's going on actually cleared them out last week, but I can't be too sure. So without further ado, let's go ahead and check out what I did pick up. I snagged Mission Impossible for the N64 with the box. Unfortunately, it doesn't have the manual, but it does have the box, and it fell within their $19.99 price requirement for the buy two get one free. For the Dreamcast, I was able to pick up Capcom vs SNK2 Millionaire Fighting 2001 that is in an import, so a Japanese import Dreamcast game. And then I was also able to pick up San Francisco Rush 2049. Now Capcom vs SNK was $34.99 but because it didn't have a case it was half off and that goes for the same for Dreamcast's uh, San Francisco Rush 2049. That was $30 however half off so $15 bucks. Then since I found out that anything with no CD case is half off and I saw that Sewer Shark, Double Switch, and Prize Fighter were all present and accounted for, I just decided to grab those as well. So you had Sewer Shark for 10 bucks, Double Switch for 13, and Prize Fighter for 5. So it was buy two get one free. So what $22 uh, cut in half, so $11. $11 for Prize Fighter, Double Switch, and Sewer Shark. Not too shabby. So all in all, I got everything for $52 and some change. I think that's pretty good. And again, I feel 
pretty good about supporting a local business in the area. In these trying times, it's good to get out and support our local businesses. Anyways, guys, that's going to do it for this video. Thanks again for watching. If you liked it, smash the like button. If you disliked it, hit that dislike button, I guess. And please consider subscribing. Cheers.